Another new way of being for me is to think of yourself in terms of personal authority rather than being an authoritarian. Personal authority. A person who has authority never needs to dominate anyone else, ever. Dominating doesn't become necessary. In business, you can have authority. The people who have the most authority are the ones who listen the most. And the ones who are the most conscientious about what do other people have to say. A person in a relationship who has to dominate somebody else and has to make the other person submissive shows that they don't have authority because they're getting their power not from within for themselves but on the basis of who they can control. And that never lasts. That never lasts. The only thing that lasts is having inner power, if you will. Know thyself. That's what Shakespeare said. Know thyself. The more you know yourself, the more you... The more you become honest with yourself, uh, honesty becomes just a way of life. No, I don't think the world necessarily does, but you can't run your world. You can't run your world based upon what the rest of the people in the world want or don't want. To me, honesty is like, it's a karma that goes out into the world. How people treat you in the world is their karma. How you react is yours. And what, when you react to it with dishonesty, that's what you're putting out into the world, dishonesty. And when you put dishonesty out into the world, that's what's going to come back to you because what goes out is what comes back that all as you sow so shall you reap i mean it's it's in every great uh institution that there is in the world what, whether it's a religion or a philosophy or whatever what you put out is what comes back whatever you plant is what you're going to get back and the more that you put out honesty just because it's what you are because you are being honesty you're not trying to be honest you're just being honesty then that's what will come back to you on a regular basis and when it doesn't You'll just see that as another test for you to pass. For me, it has become a way of life. It's called serenity instead of acquisitions. The more you try to acquire, the more you try to get, the more you try to collect in your life and evaluate yourself on the basis of that, the less serenity you're going to have. More is less. It's almost a secret of the universe. Serenity means inner peace it means that you can uh, find joy in every moment that you have in your life instead of always looking for it it means that uh, while you are uh, uh, driving along the countryside you know and seeing uh, and instead of saying oh, this is I'm on my way to this point that you can open your eyes and see it with new eyes. See, see the rolling mountains, see the grass, see the deer, see the sky. See, you can just stop wherever you are in this second, wherever you are, and just look around you. And you can begin to appreciate just your, in, your surroundings and your environment. Then you can begin to appreciate the people that are in your life. And even the ones that are negative and, and you're having the most difficulty with, you can practice a new way of being with them which is sending them love, sending them flowers, send them books, send them a tape, send them something, and just see what kind of reaction that you get. Super emotional health is just an attitude. An attitude is everything. And it's being personally an, an authority on yourself rather than authoritarian and trying to be domin dominating someone else or to be dominated. And serenity, which is the name of my little girl, my youngest daughter, Serena, um, rather than acquisitions and accumulations and trying to prove yourself that way and when you get that serenity which comes from the way that you think always then you will replace all of the other junk that keeps you back here between six and one on that clock and once you pass it once you get past it you'll never ever be able to go back because the light living in the light is a way of it's a way of being that if you're not there you don't get it yet, but once you see it, and once it begins to take over your life, you can never go back. That, that is your purpose. It isn't, your purpose isn't to try to be loving. Your purpose is to be loved and only have that to give away.